where you have taken it to heart, you know, from the documents we've reviewed and looking at your past. My name's Forrest Taylor, Assistant Chief of the Bold City Fire Department, also a peer assessor with a CPSE, the Center of Public Safety Excellence. That's the opportunity to go in and update the associate hazmat PIs. Uh, we're here for a site visit. Uh, we are in place to validate and verify the things that are on paper. You know, for instance, we look through the policies and the procedures. We talk to members of the organization here at OPFD, and we ensure that what you're telling us is happening is actually happening. We thumb through and look through every you know aspect of the organization here at Overland Park to just ensure that that's in place, and we offer recommendations as a result of that. Uh, with our experience being a neutral third party, and we give uh, feedback and recommendations to the department, you know, based on what we see. The mindset of working toward, like, throughout the year that... To... Hope for the end result is for a fire department to become accredited. You know, you're already an accredited agency. This is going up for a reaccreditation. So the, the end goal for any organization going through this process is to get the thumbs up that, you know, they can be reaccredited for the next five years. The city is giving you money to run a business. What the accreditation model is, is how to run that business the right way through validated and verified ways of, of running that business. And so it, it is a model that has been proven in so many other circumstances across the nation and you're choosing to adopt that model as best practice to be able to run this business, which is the fire department. So they can tie that to their permitting. You come into OPFD and you get to yeah. see a culture that is safety focused, that is family oriented. Uh, we get the opportunity to go into the fire stations and speak to a three month old probationary, you know, firefighter, um, all the way up to a 17 year firefighter and hear their perspectives. And, and it was all positive on what they had to say. It's nice to hear from someone working on a fire engine that says they're doing what they're telling you that they're doing, right? Coming from that perspective really holds a lot of value and we got to hear a lot of that. And uh, we can say, you know, as a team that we've been impressed with what we've seen up to this point. I mean, we've been here for three days now and uh, what we've seen is uh, a tip of the spear, uh, so to speak, uh, compared to a lot of different agencies to the point where we just had the director of the CPSC, you know, out here and we had conversations with him as well. And uh, Overland Park is very well known for how well you're doing things here and it's something to be proud of. The intent of the goal is, is that you're doing that now. It's I've seen a lot of fire departments uh, from Southern California to Arizona all the way to Washington, D.C. Uh, we, we get the opportunity to have a firsthand view of what they look like, what those cultures are. What I can say is Overland Park is unique to the fire service in the sense that uh, the culture alone is, if you work here, you should be proud to be a member here. And the people that I've talked to are. Uh, a lot of organizations aren't like that. The grass is greener at this fire department from what we can see. And a lot of times when you're going through a bad day right at the firehouse, because we all have them, uh, just understand that you do work for an organization that cares for you, that has policies and procedures in place that can take care of you if you need it. And uh, you should go home to your family knowing and being rest assured that when you go back, you know, you have a second family there for you that are taking care of you the best way they can.